y'all yeah, already know it is sunday i got this big old bonnet on because we are going to do a light light church function um baptist beat <laughs> Yeah, I got an hour. I, that's more than enough because I don't do a lot. Um, I don't do a lot anymore at all for my face. I need to eat some breakfast. Hold on, let me eat half of this banana. Girl, we ain't gonna talk about my weight. Look, I'm not one of those type of people. Hold on, y'all. Don't you be, don't people be working your nerves when they come on and talking about their weight and their weight loss and the struggles with their weight. And maybe that's their way of venting, I should say. I'm a person of action. So I'd rather just come back on and like seven or eight months she's looking fine and y'all be like dang you lost weight well, when did you get this fine girl you know that's what i want to be i just don't want to be talking about it because you can see i ain't lost no damn weight so so what's up going on y'all hope y'all can see me excuse the mess in the back i'm starting to pack for a trip to texas i started packing a while back i'm going to turn you down karen <sighs> so y'all so much is going on um we if we are avid watchers of different people we know by now that nikki tutorials has came out and revealed that she was born a man i was completely shocked when i saw that video when i tell you i was shocked hold on y'all i was shocked because i thought you know she had the rainbow border um and it says I'm coming out, so I'm thinking, okay, you know, she she likes to pop, you know, pocketbooks with other people. She likes, you know, fish tacos. Girl, she's a lesbian. You know, that's what I thought she was gonna say. She's a lesbian, or no, she's bisexual, because I know she's engaged, right? Girl, now she's <laughs> y'all know I'm dramatic. Came out here and said that she was born a man. Y'all, when I I'm like, but because she started at a young age transitioning it came through but that is scary the reason why that's scary to me is because you really can't tell i couldn't clock her at all i did see some pictures of her she big oh i didn't know she was that big she's like six foot two a stallion and big big neck big legs but now that's the only way you know and watching if you see someone moving you know walking around them yeah you, you look suspect but just in front of the camera even her voice couldn't tell but I think she started hormones at a very young age and you know now that she's came out I've come to the realization that a lot of these top um makeup artists are actually trans if you think about it a lot of them are yeah so I was a bit bit shocked by that to say the least um all right y'all so now we're gonna go in with what time is it with some eyes oh so let me <clears throat> so i did see busby did an update um oh my gosh y'all she's pregnant again now I, I gotta pretend like i'm shocked oh my god i can't believe she's pregnant <laughs> I've been knowing she's pregnant. Look, I keep secrets, y'all. I am loyal. I am a Leo. I will keep your secrets. And really, this is not my business to tell someone's business. So yeah, I'm doing stuff out of order. We had a lot going on last year. A lot with the house. AC went down. Water heater went down. Revamping of the bathrooms. New toilets. New um, master bathroom. And now this ninja talking about, well... It has to be done. Our master bathroom has to be redone. Let me tell you something. Do not move the Phoenix. Don't move the Phoenix. Not only are we the uh, kidnapping capital of the U.S. I was not joking. I told you guys a couple of vlogs ago. I mentioned it slightly mentioning. Um, but girl, get to the point. So, yeah, besides that, I mean, we really are. It's really bad here. Um, heart water. We have had to replace our toilets due to hot water. And we've only been in this house for 10 years. We have had to replace uh, all of the, our sink twice in the kitchen due to hot water. And now the bathroom has all of the deposits and all that, just trash. Now I had to put in a filter on these um, showers back in, well, it's been about four years now, but it's not in our master, so I don't shower in there. I don't do my hair in there. Yeah, your hair, your skin. We were thinking about having a filtration system put on the house, but that will require them to like drill and have something going all across the, the ceiling, and it would have been 
it's doable, but a couple of people were afraid to do it. And it's a couple of thousand dollars extra just to have that line. Some of the newer houses already have it hooked up for you. You don't have to. We don't have it because this house is older, you know. So, um, I don't see us staying in this house forever. I really don't. It's way too much upkeep because of just the, you know, yeah. Um, I'm trying to get him to move back to Texas. Why am I whispering? He ain't here. Well, he ain't here. I'm trying to get him to move back to Texas. I really am. Um, so, yeah, that has to be done. Yeah, I keep adjusting the lights and stuff. So, that's why things are going to be looking funny. So, okay, y'all. What am I watching on TV? Oh, right, we're getting over YouTube. Yeah, that happened. I talked about a little bit about the mukbang stuff in my um, vlog, y'all. That was crazy because so many people started doing reactions. Thing, video reaction videos based off of that whatever went down up in Atlanta I didn't say this about that guy his name is L lips he has some huge grotesque looking lips I don't know if he was born like that oh my god I have never seen lips that big on someone but one thing I that another youtuber it's a couple that mentioned he kept referring to himself as legion he 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 did that several times and someone else mentioned it nonchalantly that he signed the, his email to them as a legion. That's demonic in nature. And it's, it shows me that that's demonic in nature because he had all these people. There was a negative reaction from everybody who came in contact with this individual. You got to be very careful who you, I already talked about that. You got to be very careful who you allow in your circle. Mm. So anyway, on to other stuff. Well, I've been watching on TV, girl. My mom has been giving me good stuff to watch on TV. First of all, the only good thing she didn't. Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Tyler Perry's Medea's movies. They all cookie cutter, same type of, same actors, same everything. Um, I do like the Why Did I Get Married series, but even that after a while, it's redundant. His movies are very predictable. Um, there are a few, like I said, that I like, but I can count them on one hand out of all the movies. Yeah. And I didn't, I didn't become a fan until after Why Did I Get Married. I never watched the plays. I don't like singing the, and just, if you're going to act, act, don't just break out in a song. Anyway, so A Fall From Grace. I saw it. It was predictable as usual. It was okay. It felt like it was rushed. The movie itself felt like it was rushed. It, it went by too fast. Hold on, y'all. I'm checking the time. It went by too fast. The only person I recognized was Felicia Rashad. And why the hell was Cicely... T <laughs> Bless her heart. Cicely Tyson was running around that house like she was a slave. Because I, I was like, is that Cicely Tyson? She was like, oh, she, she running around. I'm like, what is her... Cicely Tyson looks small, y'all. Is she small? She looks short as hell and weighs probably less than 100 pounds. So yeah, y'all, Fall for Grace from Grace. And her name is Grace. Oh, wow. Yeah, but since he has his own studios, he doesn't need to run nothing by anybody. It's his movie. He can do whatever the hell he wants. You know, it's not like he has to get approval, I'm sure, from someone. So yeah. Um, Another series that I started to watch, y'all, I'm looking for my... Okay. Hmm... I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. I need some more foundation. I have, I'm looking in front of me, because I mix foundations. Most people of color do, women of color. I binge watch, I got the name here, Bonfire of Destiny. When I tell you it's French based, that was one of the best series I've seen in a long time. Really good. Bonfire of Destinies is surrounding a fire that occurred in this uh, building. This is, I think the time period is, I should have looked it up. Because I didn't have, did they have cars? They didn't have cars. If I were to guess the late 1800s, early 1900s. Yeah. Really good. It's called Bonfire of Destiny. It's on the Netflix. Um, girl, I cannot wait. Why didn't anybody tell me? Look, I'm blaming y'all. I just saw yesterday, and it's been out for months. I just saw the preview for Westworld. I must cut the spirit. Westworld 3. I am so ready for Westworld. I, first of all, I saw Nazis. I saw robots. I'm like, Nazis and robots? 
I'm here for it. I'm ready. It's coming back. HBO is about to do the damn thing. I cannot wait to see it. Um, I tried to get into True Detective. I'm going to skip the second series based off of reviews and go straight to the third series with the, uh, the black guy from Moonlight. Is it Moonlight? The one that won the Oscar. He's a great actor. I'm going to try to watch that when I can. So yeah, Good Girls is coming back. I'm ready for Good Girls. I'm ready for Westworld 3. I'm ready for Ozark. I'm ready for Dark. <laughs> Y'all know why. I'm, <laughs> I'm ready. Hell, I'm ready for Black Panther 2. When is that coming out? I'm ready for, um, oh yes. Y'all know I'm thoughtish. I'm ready for uh, um, chat with Bossman to grace my screen. And now he's gotten real thin. Y'all know, you know, black people, we get real nervous when people get when people get skinny all of a sudden. But that's for a role. He is in an upcoming Spike Lee movie. I believe it's Spike Lee. And he is playing a, um, is he playing a soldier who was captured by the, it's, I don't know, captured by either the Japanese or, um, I don't, I don't remember exactly, so I should, really shouldn't be guessing. So, but yeah, I'm ready for Chadwick. Um, ready for Fear of the Walking Dead. I'm going to be scared, but we're going to pray. Um, I am not watching American House. I stopped watching American House. American Horror Story. It should be called American Horror Story. I am not watching it. I stopped watching it the one season when they did... Um, it was the witches that came back for the end. I thought it was all end of the world. But when I saw those things, I know some people were excited about it. When I saw the coven holes come up. <laughs> okay. God, I wonder what I call them. Okay, the coven witches. Girl, they not hoes. I mean, I don't know. But when I saw them show up, I know some people were like, yeah, it's come through. I'm like, no. I wanted this to be about the end of the world. I don't want to see them. <sighs> Girl. It is what it is. Ozark. Let me tell y'all some. So if you haven't seen them, you, this is what you need to watch. Get a pen and pencil. Dark. Black Spot. Ozark. The O-A. Letter O-A. Oh, that's a I don't know, sign. O-A. Um, Bonfire of Destiny. Glitch. Europeans be doing the damn thing. All this stuff is European based. Yeah, watch those. Yeah, they, they're, they're good. They're very good. Um, got some highlight in there. I need some more highlight. I'm using this Anastasia Beverly Hills palette that I got from T as a gift. And I'm going in with Moonstone and Bronze. I want to look super blessed today. Blessed and highly favored. Yeah, so what y'all watching on TV? Let me know, girl. So, I wanted to watch the movie The Irishman, but I don't know, y'all. I feel like I'm getting old. Don't you feel a certain way when you see people that you used to watch on TV looking old as hell? Yeah, it looks good. He's young, in my opinion, though. Oh, that's a little too red. Girl, we going to church. Let's deepen that up. Um... I'm not sure if I like my makeup today. Let me go in with some of this. What do you call this? Y'all know who this is. Y'all know what this is. Um, Y'all, my mama's having her 60th birthday party in a couple of weeks. And she getting on my nerves. Y'all, she is getting on my... First of all, I'm in charge of the program, like I said. And she didn't tell me anything about this until a couple of weeks ago. And... I was busy trying to get stuff on my baby's birthday. We, were, we went to a resort, which by the way, I accidentally deleted all of that footage. You, when I tell you I was heated, because the resort was beautiful, I accidentally deleted all of the footage of us at the resort. Um, yeah, so I already did her program up with hardly no details. Y'all don't need to know who's um doing the, the solo. Just look, in, look around and see. Watch who's going to come up to the podium. That's who's doing the solo. No, it's my mama. Whatever she says, she I do it. Y'all, I am a very um what do you say it? I'm a I'm a very obedient child. And I was like that when I was younger. Because I'm afraid to get in trouble. Oh, I was that kid. I'm afraid to get it get in trouble. Like the look worked for me. It didn't work for my sister. Mm -mm, my sister was bad as hell. Oh, she was bad. You know what? Let me go on with this gold bronzer. 
Yeah, my sister was bad. She would get spankings all the time. To the point I would ask my mom, my mom, I'm like, mama, do you need help? <laughs> do you need help? You want me to help you with a child? All right, y'all. So what else is going on? Yeah. I need to really, it's, it was great to see a couple of other YouTubers share their um, upcoming goals for their channels and all this. And I got the overall feeling from everyone, especially with, you know, hair related videos that there's only so many products that we can review. There's only so many styles we can do. So it's getting old. If you notice, I mean... I'm even going to go back to like Shari J and um, Natural 85. I think she's still, she's doing mostly hair care stuff. But a lot of people are straying away from doing reviews. So, um, what I'm trying to say, I gotta put on mascara. Specifically BuzzFeed, myself, and Nezzy Naps. And I'm like a couple of other people are straying away from, you know, hair care. Oh, excuse me, doing our hair hair tutorials and reviewing products nancy never really did review products she would try new products but it's getting old like we're more than just sitting in front of the video doing our hair girl i look like a damn doll with all this blush hold on let me buff that out what the hell y'all yeah. could at least help me out here I look like one of those porcelain porcelain dolls that has around it's still a little It's y'all fault. So anyway, <laughs> um, so, you know, every now and then it's okay, but, uh, so I have a couple of reviews that I know I need to do, but I'm stretching it out. Oh yes. You're going to be getting a new review like every other week. Um, and then we'll be having chicha. We already know what, I already talked about what I'm going to be doing on my channel. So let me do these brows and come back y'all. Drinking water with lime. Yeah, drinking water with lime is way better than drinking water with lemons. Look it up. I'm not good at doing my brows, child. I can barely see. Sorry, y'all, but when you, when I have this hair all in front of my face, girl, you ain't gonna be able to see those brows. You ain't gonna be able to see that not one brow when I get that hair down. Um, <clears throat> I need to focus on myself. More importantly, my relationship with God and my relationship with my husband. Um, I, yeah, I need to do that. It's a lot to juggle. And so, and I'm tired, you know. I've, I've, I think I've had a good run on YouTube. And I'm still consistently posting every week. Um, but as I've said numerous times, a, a good YouTuber should be posting if you want your numbers to grow, you should be posting three to four times a week. Girl, who got time for that? Hey, <laughs> I mean, there's so many things that I want to accomplish, you guys. I have my goals that I've set on my vision board. If you're interested in that, I do have several videos on how to do digital vision boards. Um, <clears throat> and I, I set some goals for myself and I, I accomplished a lot last year, but I feel like I could have done more. I was at a, cause you know, when, when the, First thing of the year starts off, you, you're high, you're excited about, you know, your goals. By the way, this is an old wash and go. And so, um, and then it declines, you know, the moment. So those of you who don't know, I wrote a children's book last year, a children's book, excuse me. And I wrote it fairly fast, y'all. And I have all of these ideas about writing um, for children's books. And I know that it is hard to write children's books because we're not a child. A children's picture book which tends to run around 32 pages which is really hard to do and and to not sound immature but to not use big words to where children won't understand you know what I mean I basically have to you know talk from the mindset of a six seven year old but it's good that I have a child in the age range that can get it alongside of that I started just writing notes of other ideas I had I have for uh, the tweens, pre-tween, like Harry Potter, uh, Twilight Age. Um, and I may start those off as short stories. Because I don't think a lot of you realize that some of your favorite movies 
um, started off as short stories. The Curious Case of Benjamin Button is a short story. So yeah, I always have these ideas. I had an idea just, and it's usually from life experience and something can happen. And I would think to myself with my creative mind, oh my God, what if, cause I'm crazy too. Um, so I had a doctor's appointment. I'll be doing my hair y'all. Let me spray this Jane Carter. I'm gonna say this without giving a lot of tea. If you like Jane Carter products, if you like her older products, I should say, go ahead and swoop these up. Cause they're gonna be hard. They're getting hard to find for several reasons. So if you like them, you better get them. Girl. Girl. So anyway, um, let me check the time. Okay. I was, I have plenty of time. I actually have 30 minutes. I was on my way to the doctor and they left me a message basically said, and this is an older hospital. My doctor's office is in an older hospital. And the um, front desk girl was basically like, on the message she said, make sure that you park on the south side because the hospital is closed that went in one ear and right the next so i get to the hospital and sure enough everything's locked down the hospital's closed down i'm like what the heck is going on like literally every door was locked and this is an old institution looking psych hospital look it has that look to it right so as i'm going around Still not, girl, I have no sense of direction. So I don't know where the hell the south side is at. So I'm just going around to every door. This is cute, y'all. Let me shake it up. Loosen up those curls. As I'm going around, um, trying every door and it's locked, right? And I'm like, forget about it. Let me go back to my car and walk, walk around to my car and drive around to figure out what the hell is going on over here. So... As I was looking up, I saw some blinds and they were kind of moving and that kind of that kind of spooked me out. But they gave me an idea for a short story of a woman going to a supposedly doctor's appointment. And she looks up and she sees a um, young girl looking out the window and she looks distressed. So after her appointment, this woman decides to go and try to find this young girl to figure out just to make sure she's okay, she ends up trapped in the hospital. And going through different doors, so I need to write some more of this down. Sorry, hold on, because this just came to me. Going through different doors of the hospital, she enters different, um, uh, different realms, um, different worlds. And long story short, that little girl was her that was a version of her but she just didn't recognize her so that's an idea of mine it came to me like that just walking around that abandoned hospital for my doctor's appointment i'm like wouldn't it be kind of scary for that to happen but see I, I, that's what i do i get these ideas i jot it down and then i don't go anywhere well i'm gonna stop doing that 2020 i'm not gonna do that anymore i'm gonna finish the second book i'm gonna start on the short story books, as much story. as uh, washing goes, be getting on my nerves. If I had 4A, 4B, I would probably only do washing goes. Definitely if I was three tight. Girl, please. And it's so funny. I don't know who it is I saw. She's, she's from the South because she has a Southern accent. She had a video titled, Finally Achieving a Successful Twist Out. I'm like, because she always does wash and goes because she has a looser curl pattern. Um, is it pretty witty, y'all? Is it pretty witty that did that? But that makes sense because if you have a looser curl pattern, it probably would be kind of challenging to do a twist out. Whereas with highly textured hair with four types, we could do twist out and braid outs all day. This is why, you know, our hair, the four type hair, in my opinion, is the most, most, versatile hair i know i can pronounce it we can do just about anything with our hair if you know how to really style it the other curl types you know they really can't do a lot honestly like seriously we can flat iron our hair we can press our hair we could do flexi rods perm rods any type of press perm rods we could do silk presses um braid outs twist outs like i said just about anything you just got to know how to do it okay it's all about technique and using the correct products i look like i'm 12 years old <laughs> with my hair like this look 
I when I tell you I am a bargain shopper, yeah, I don't know what's going on on, on this side, but it's okay. When I tell you I am, I am a bargain, bargain shopper. Let me show, show y'all the back. This one isn't. So let me go get my baby together. See, when you're a mom, code. I mean, uh, code tip. Get yourself half together. Don't put your clothes on. Be, you know, do your face. I ain't gonna say be. Do your face. Do your hair. Go get your child together. Cause what you don't want to do is have your clothes all on. You looking all cute and your child acting a fool. You tear up. You know, you rip your pantyhose. And I'm not saying this from experience, but I am. <laughs> you know, your child does something. They waste something on your nice dress, and now you upset. You want to mess up your church clothes? Yeah. Get yourself halfway. Go get your baby together, and then you finish getting ready. Just last week, I purchased Revolution. It's called, girl, I can't pronounce this stuff. Tropical Carnival Shadow Palette. Revolution. Look, hold on. Look at these colors. Girl, look at that. It was only $16. Look at that. So yeah, I'm gonna wear this to the brunch. I don't know which colors, but it's gonna be cute. Let me go get my baby together and then I'll get together. Um, and I'll show y'all my dress. Dress. I'll show it to you now. Also, it's good to, to buy clothes on off seasons. So right now it's starting to warm up a little bit here in Phoenix. So everything, the sweaters are on sale. This right here is a little big, but it's okay. And it comes with a scarf like the other one. Um, $7, $7. Girl, what are you doing? It's a extra large. Um, yeah, she got some room because this is what we normally, but it's cute. Let me show y'all my hair and makeup. All right, y'all. Bye.